So, I'm the non-singer here <laughs> for your title presentation, but it will still be it will still be entertaining because I I like to make all my programs sort of hands-on, so you'll all get to learn how to do some of these bird calls, um, and uh, and and then maybe be part of my grand finale at the end. Um, now there are different ways of doing bird calls. So some of you, if you can whistle, you can do a, a call like uh, a northern cardinal. Which is pretty simple. Um, if you can whistle with your with your tongue, you can do things like a red-tailed hawk. And you know it's a red-tailed hawk because if you watch a commercial and it has a bald eagle flying on it, they always play a red-tailed hawk call because the bald eagle call is just really wimpy and it's not going to be a really good thing for you to watch. Um, now, if you have a chip in your tooth like I do, you can also do some pretty high-pitched calls. So this is a, a goldfinch, American goldfinch. North, and you like to go camping, you may have heard a white crown, or sorry, white throat sparrow. It's, uh, it's a, a bird that tends to, they think, in, in the States, they think it says Old Sam Peabody, 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 but it actually says Home Sweet Canada, Canada, Canada. <laughs> and it sounds like this. Okay, so you can listen for that. Now, the way I really like to do calls is actually not by whistling, but by either using my throat or using my hands. One of the throat calls that you can actually do, um, if you practice, you can do ravens, like that. Or if you can play your hands, and this is what I'm going to be teaching everyone, you can do different calls. Uh, who, who can tell me what this is? So, uh, great horned owl. Uh, screech owls, which are found around here, they have two different calls. They have a contact call and a territorial call. So, the contact call is this. And that's actually pretty neat because you can do that in a different way. I, I did a program once where I had a whole bunch of kids, and this 12 year old came up to me after I did that call and says, I can do a really good screech owl call. I thought, oh, great, go ahead. And there's all these kids going, wow, okay, go ahead. And the kid said, oh, you have to give me a second. I said, okay. And he started going, <laughs> <laughs> And so all the kids start backing away. And like, what are you doing? So after a few minutes, he came over and said, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> and he tilted his head back and did a perfect screech owl call by whistling through his spit. So that's something that you can try at home. <laughs> Um, screech owls also have a territorial call that sounds like this. And this works because screech owls will actually come to that because they don't want you in their territory. I've done group, uh, one group, I did that where I had a whole group around me. I started doing that call, and instead of the owl calling back, the owl flew in, picked me out of the crowd, and started hovering right above my face. I thought it was going to land on my nose, which wouldn't be a good thing because of owl calling. Um, now, you can do other things. You don't have to just do birds. You can do tree frogs. You can do crickets. And you can do Canada geese. <laughs> so once, once you start practicing, so lots of different things. Now I'm going to show you all how to do this. So, y'all have to take your left hand, that's the one that makes the little L, all right? So, take your left hand, and then take your right hand, and put it behind your left hand so that your left hand little finger is at the base of your right hand's fingers, and you fold your left hand down, and then cup everything together. So what you want to have is you want to have a big opening, and no holes, except you look in between your thumb knuckles, if you bend your thumbs a bit, there's a little hole there. So now what you have to do, it's like blowing into a pop bottle. 
but you have to do it upside down. So you stick your elbows out, you sort of pick your nose with your thumbnail, and then you blow over it into the hole. Okay, don't hyperventilate. Okay, so who can who can do it? Let me hear the people who can do it. Let's hear. Nice. Okay, whoever that is, I need you to come up on stage. And if there's someone over there, come on up here. I need help.